questioner. Then the pure crystalline shape, such as the diamond, you mentioned, as being frozen light it seems that this third density physical manifestation of light is somehow a window, or focusing mechanism for the third distortion in the general sense. Is this correct? Ra. I am Ra. This is basically correct. However, it may be noted that only the will of the crystallized entity may cause interdimensional light to flow through this material. The more regularized the entity, and the more regularized the crystal, the more profound the effect. Questioner. There are many people who are now bending metal, doing other things, like that by mentally requesting this happen. What is happening in that case? What are they? Can you explain what's happening there? Ra. I am Ra. That which occurs in this instance may be likened to the influence of the second spiral of light in a pyramid being used by an entity. As the second spiral ends at the apex, the light may be likened unto a laser beam in the metaphysical sense and when intelligently directed may cause bending not only in the pyramid, but this is the type of energy which is tapped into by those capable of this focusing of the upward spiraling light. This is made possible through contact and indigo ray with intelligent energy. Questioner. Why are these people able to do this? They seem to have no training, they just are able to do it. Ra. I am Ra. They remember the disciplines necessary for this activity which is merely useful upon other true color vibratory experiential NEXI. Questioner. Then you are saying that this wouldn't be useful in our present density. Will it be useful in fourth density on this planet in the very near future? Ra. I am Ra. The end of such energy focusing is to build, not to destroy, and it does become quite useful, as, shall we say, an alternative to third density building methods. Questioner. Is it also used for healing? Ra. I am Ra. No. Questioner. Is there any advantage in attempting to develop these characteristics, or being able to bend metal, etc.? What I am trying to say is, are these characteristics a signpost of the development of an entity, or is it, are they something else? For instance, as an entity develops through his indigo would a signpost of his development be the spending? Ra. I am Ra. This will be the last full query of this working. Let us specify the three spirals of light energy which the pyramid exemplifies. Firstly, the fundamental spiral which is used for study and for healing. Second, the spiral to the apex which is used for building. Thirdly, the spiral spreading from the apex which is used for energizing. Contact with indigo ray need not necessarily show itself in any certain gift or guidepost, as you have said. There are some whose indigo energy is that of pure being and never is manifested, yet all are aware of such an entity's progress. Others may teach or share in many ways contact with intelligent energy. Others continue in unmanifested form, seeking intelligent infinity. Thus the manifestation is a lesser signpost, and that which is sensed or intuited about a mind-body-spirit complex. This violet ray being ness is far more indicative of true self. Are there any brief queries or small matters we may clear up, if we can, before we leave this instrument? Questioner. I did have a question on what you meant by the third spiral. And if that is too long I would just ask if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact. Ra. I am Ra. We may answer briefly. You may query in more detail if you deem it desirable at another session. If you picture the candle flame, you may see the third spiral. This instrument is well balanced. The accoutrements are aligned well. You are conscientious. I am Ra. I leave you, my friends, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai. <laughs>